Hey, welcome back. I'm Sean Barr, and at Looking Point, we help IT organizations make decisions around collaboration, security, and networking. Today, we're going to be talking about the Desk Hub. Let's go! All right, we are back and we are talking about the Desk Hub. Now we did a video on this a little while ago. We'll put the link in the, uh, the description below, but uh, I wanted to spend some time just talking about the unit itself and just going through it, you know, in more of a physical uh, use case type video. And so this is the Desk Hub and essentially it is a docking station, a phone charger, it got a, a speaker or microphone uh, embedded into it. It also has in the back this little uh, deal that kind of pops off here and you can have a headset charger. So if you at your desk have a headset, it can sit on here and let's see, put this on the right way here, but it, you can, um, Got it. So uh, you can uh, use this as a, as a desk headset charger or as a headset charger and just set your headset on here and it'll charge it. Or if you don't want to use that, you can pop that out, put this nice little cover on so you don't see that it's got this little connector and keeps it all clean. That's the options for the, for the headset. Um, you know, we covered all the connections like Ethernet connection and uh, USB-C connection, so you can connect your monitor and USB port for any kind of peripherals. Um, we showed how this this part lights up, but really, let's talk about the use case. I think the best use case for the desk hub, in my opinion, and I know there's a lot of other use cases for it. It's really for um, shared spaces, in my opinion. Um, this is going to be uh, in a place like that you can check the space out as an example like if maybe you've got some sales offices in the US or wherever you are uh, you got sales offices all over and maybe you've got 15 or 20 hot desking spots um, and each of those could be reserved uh, you could reserve them ad hoc like you, when you walk in and you could just reserve the space right then for the day or you could plan ahead and, and use a calendaring application and, and block these spaces out like you would for a conference room and then when you get there uh, and you hotel, this device can become your phone, essentially. You can use it to join WebEx meetings natively without a laptop connected to it, or you could connect your laptop to it and use it as a docking station and use the peripherals at that particular location, whether it be a monitor, the network connection, keyboard, mouse, what have you, you can use all those peripherals. And so it really solves a couple of things. One, it solves how do I connect my technology when I come into an office or maybe a hot desking area? Two, how do I reserve the space that I want to use? And it also provides some signage as to who reserved this spot. So, you know, on the monitor, on the display, it'll show if it's reserved and who's reserved it. Um, so those are all kind of nice features when we talk about hot desking. So it's not really just about the docking station. It's about the workflow that it enables so that if you did want to have a hot desking solution or have a way to uh, enable these, these spaces that you can just res reserve as maybe the, the way you work has changed, um, it makes it super easy. You don't have to get scheduling software. You don't have to get, uh, you know, manage a bunch of hardware. You could have a consistent platform like this. It all comes and is managed from the cloud in terms of, in terms of firmware and things like that. Uh, the reservation system integrates with your email solution. So I think it just solves a lot of things uh, with just you know a basic docking station. Obviously, you could just buy a docking station, connect all these things together. But then as things age out, maybe you get docking station A, B, or C. Tracking them becomes a little bit harder. These are, you know, a pre-built unit and it's all included. So I think that solves a, a nice solution if you're looking at a hot desking option. Uh, that's it. I mean, I think this is a, a cool, cool little device. It works pretty well and it's easy to set up, support, and get going on. So those are my thoughts of the Desk Hub. Um, if I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I want to know more about the Desk Hub or anything else that relates to technology, leave a comment. Make sure you like and subscribe so you get all of our content as we release it. And we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.